Hi, do you have an appointment? Yes, my name is Vivian. I have an appointment for 1.30 for my back pain. Okay, so it looks like you do have an appointment today and you're due for your annual screening form. So this is a folder containing a form we give to all of our patients every year. And you can fill it out in exam room four. And if you have any questions, Dr. Rob will assist you. Oh, thank you. No problem. Vivian? Hi, my name is Jana. How are you doing? Are you the doctor? No, I'm the medical assistant. But I can take your folder if you don't mind. You can sit down on the exam table so I can take your vitals now. Okay, your blood pressure looks good and your weight also is good. Um, okay, now um, I'm going to quickly review this form. Okay, here's an additional form to fill out. Please give it to Dr. Rob when he finished. Uh, thank you so much, Vivian. Dr. Rob should be here anytime. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Vivian. So you're here today to follow up on your back pain. Um, let's address that. Uh, when I was looking over certain things, you know, I think we're going to refer you to an MRI to get some more uh, just kind of imaging so I could actually kind of know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and just to get some more clarity, I, I wanted to go over some of the uh, screening questions that you did, if that's all right. Okay. That's that's fine. Okay. Um, so when I was looking at some of your responses, it indicated that there, you know, may be a need for some further assessment and referral because of some concerns of maybe some family history of abuse and then maybe some current, you know, concerns that you might be have that there's some excessive use or concerns of withdrawal right now. Um, really? So, you know, maybe further assessment and a referral could be beneficial. Oh, well, oh, yeah, I guess that seems right. I've been trying to stop taking pain meds, but I can't seem to get a handle on things. I, so I just keep on taking them. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I have somebody that I could, you know, link you with, um, that's kind of more of a specialist with regards to some of these things. Um, from like a recovery sense. Uh, so if I could, you know, would you be open to me introducing you to her? Um, okay. All right, um, give me just a minute. I'll be right back. All right. Um, Vivian, this is Tori. Hi, Tori. This Hi, Vivian. So Vivian filled out uh, some of our screens and Tori, you know, I just wanted to introduce you to you because, you know, you being more of a um, recovery specialist, you know, you might be able to explain sometimes some of the risks and dangers that can come with opioids. Yes. Is that OK with you, Vivian? Yeah, that's OK. Great. Um, I'm going to let you guys, you know, talk a little bit and then, you know, Vivian, we're going to talk more after um, mm -hmm. and we'll go over more of the results in your next visit. Okay. From the MRI. Thank you so much, Dr. Ra. Thanks. Have a good one. So Vivian, we haven't met before. I'm actually one of the healthcare professionals here at the clinic. Um, do you mind if I ask you more about your opioid use to help me understand? Yeah, uh, well, I hurt my back about a year ago in a, in a car accident, and I just keep having pain. I, I try to take Tylenol and alcohol, but it doesn't work, so I just keep on taking the Oxy. I know it's bad for my health, but I just feel so reliant on it. 
Okay, I see. Well, to help me better understand how you feel, so about making a change in your use of Oxy on a scale from zero to 10, how ready are you to change any aspect of your use? A 10 would mean you're fully ready to change and a zero means you're not ready at all. Um, maybe like an eight. Okay, I see. So on a scale from zero to 10, how confident do you feel about making these changes? A 10 would mean total confidence and zero means no confidence at all. Like a three. Okay, so what needs to happen for you to feel more confident? I don't know. I, I'm just really scared of the withdrawal. I tried to stop cold turkey before and it was like, I felt like I was dying. I felt so horrible. Okay, thank you for being open and sharing that with me. So I would like you, I would like to refer you for further treatment. So there are medications that can help with opioid addiction and withdrawal such as Suboxone. I can also refer you to acute treatment services and I can also assist you in enrolling in a detox program that can help you. So would you like me to do that for you? Yes, um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.